Hey guys, Minx Media Girl here. In this video, I'm doing a gorgeous acrylic pour on a vase with a matching canvas. It's a two for one project and stay tuned until the very end because I do show how to seal the vase with resin. I'm using Mixed Media Girl pouring paints and these are ready to go right out of the bottle. You don't have to mix them with anything. And I'm using black as my base and then some bright colors for contrast. I'm using black, pearl pink, Malibu sky, amethyst some powder blue steel which is a limited edition color a little bit of merlot and some white i'm doing this on a glass vase which is sitting upside down on a plastic cup and that is on a 12 by 12 inch canvas for that i use around eight to nine ounces of paint now i like to pour in a tree ring on the bottom of the vase Feel free to use any acrylic pour technique though. If you want, you can do a strainer pour, you could do a flip cup, you could do ribbons, etc. Once I have poured my paint, I let it drip for, generally speaking, at least two, maybe five minutes. And I'm gonna rotate it here so you can see both sides. I think this is just gorgeous. Keep in mind, I put black in the cup first, so it's likely that this will turn out a lot darker and that's okay, that's what I'm going for and what I anticipated, but just don't be surprised. Whatever colors you put in the cup first tend to be what come out last. So just let that sit there until it is mostly stopped dripping. Once again, maybe two to five minutes-ish. Um, if you're for any reason not totally happy with the de design, you can actually pour a little more paint at this point if you want or modify it in any way, shape or form. I, however, was very, very happy with the design and I could see that I was going to love how this came out. So once it has slowed down or completely stopped on that dripping, go ahead and move it off the canvas with the plastic cup that it's sitting on top of. Then I like to let the hole in the middle of the canvas fill in before I start tilting. It will affect the design if there is um, no paint in the middle there. So that's just my personal preference though. You don't have to wait. Once that hole has filled in, tilt it to your liking. I tend to go towards one corner, then back to the center, towards another corner, back to the center, etc. You could also do this on a cake spinner. It looks fantastic. And it's totally up to you if you wanna have that design be centered or not, but I do recommend moving pretty slow so that um, you can maintain that as much as possible. After I was happy with my design, I just touched up my corners and I do raise up my canvases to dry as a note. So I don't leave it sitting on the table. I'll put it up on some painter's pyramids or upside down cups. Here's how it looks wet. I think it's gorgeous. I'm super happy with the design on this. I love, love, love the feathered look that I got. And I'm really happy with this color combination. When you use black, it's kind of a little tricky sometimes. It can kind of take over, but I think it was perfect. And I actually love the Merlot in here, which I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to see that because it's a darker color and I put it next to the black, but it added a very nice accent. Let this fully dry, including letting the vase fully dry. Um, generally takes, honestly, they'll be dry to the touch within about a day but I let my vases sit for about a week before sealing with resin, typically. Some people like to wait longer. I don't think that's necessary. Um, once it is dry and ready to be sealed, you can put it up on a cup turner and then you're gonna just put a thin layer of resin on top of it. I use Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin and it takes maybe about two ounces. So what I like to do is get it mostly covered and then I'll go systematically from the bottom to the top on a full rotation and then also hold my hand up near the top to uh, make sure that the rim of the vase gets completely covered and I will also put a little bit of resin on the inside of the rim of the vase to make sure that paint is fully sealed in. Once it is covered with resin, lightly torch it. You don't want to over torch because you want that resin to stay on there and then let it spin for a full 24 hours. This is what both pieces look like completely dry. So here's the canvas. I did not seal this. You don't have to, but I typically seal my canvases with Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel Spray. You could also seal it with resin if you'd like. Totally up to you. Or you can just leave it. This paint actually is semi-glossy, so it's pretty even when it's not sealed. 
Here's the vase. You can see that the resin makes it extremely glossy. Also, I forgot to say, in the resin, I added a tiny bit of diamond dust. So you can see that sparkle in there. Diamond dust is a very fine glitter from Polycolor. So there you have it. Awesome two for one project with a vase and a canvas. I'm in love with both of them. This is my favorite part of the, of the vase right there. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time.